going to be doing my bookshelf organization with my two bookshelves. Also, I just want to give the heads up, like, if the audio sounds kind of weird, I am using a mic today, just because my upstairs neighbors are have been pretty loud all day today. I don't know what they're doing. It sounds like they're building furniture. I don't know. It's just, it's a lot of banging and loud noises up there, and I just don't want it to get picked up on camera. So I'm using a microphone instead. So I apologize in advance if I accidentally bump it at all or if there's any like crinkling sounds or if just the audio is kind of bothering you. But that's just what I'm doing today. Um, today is a very cozy day. It was a snow day today. School was canceled. Um, we got like the emails and stuff last night because we got a really big storm here in Massachusetts and just New England area in general. And it went from being all green to a few hours, everything, like like a foot of snow. Like we, we got a lot of snow in just today. Um, so that's really exciting. So I've just been home chilling and I'm like, okay, I need to record my bookshelf reorganization. Now that I have, well, I've it's been like three weeks since I, or maybe even like a month since I've had this bookshelf. Also, I think I want to start uploading different videos of like my other hobbies. I think I'll probably do like junk journal videos because I really am like into junk journals um, and like junk journaling and like scrapbooking and I haven't really touched my junk journal in a very long time um, so I think it'll also encourage me to get back into it but also record and like post those videos. So the video after this one I think I'm gonna do a junk journal video. I am gonna finally reorganize my bookshelf. I did not buy any decorations or anything for it. Um, so I'll probably just use what I have. I do have many, many like um, like little plants and like white plastic pots. So I might put some of those on here. But yeah, enough talking. Let's just get right into it. I think most of this video might just be me reorganizing. I don't think I'm gonna be doing much talking. Let's just get right into it. to the problem where I have a lot of space and I don't really exactly know how to set up my books um, but I'll figure it out I'm liking how I'm displaying some of the books like this I like that a lot but I'm kind of getting tired of like the sideways stacking and like the displaying like this I you know what I'm just I'm gonna get my iPad and I'm gonna look up some inspo on Pinterest. I just checked 
Pinterest and I wasn't really finding anything on there but I was checking Google and I know people what they do sometimes is they switch uh, like turn the books around so that the spine is in the back and that the pages are facing out I'm kind of thinking of doing that but I'm not entirely sure because I feel like that would be pretty cool um because then everything pretty much looks the same because all you see is like the white slash like off-white cream color of the pages rather than all the different colors um and I feel like that would kind of like give it a pretty cool look um so I will start doing that and see how I like it and if I don't like it then I'll just figure something else out um but yeah I think that would be a cool setup for my book different than what I was planning on doing I mean even though I didn't really have a plan for how I was going to reorganize them um but yeah let's try that out and see how I like it was not sure if I still had this book from my childhood but I do buenas noches luna that means good night moon in Spanish and I did not realize I still had it since a lot of things got damaged in the storage unit plus moving around a lot as a kid and all that I wasn't really sure if I still had it but I do broken and all <laughs> oh my gosh for the most part i'm done setting up the books and because i have a lot of space on the shelves there are some books that are like leaning over there's a whole shelf here that is empty and this last one down there has some of like my art stuff and some notebooks 
Um, I'm trying to think if they, if I have any other books lying around, but I don't think I do. I think these are all my books. And it would also help if I had like bookends or um, like little decorations that were like heavy enough to hold the books up, which I also do need to get. Well, here, let me show you, for example. Like I have these little fake planters that I can just put like that. Um, but I also want like other decorations, you know, like the the Roman busts, like the heads, the little ones. I think those are really cool. But all this space just means that I need to get more books. So that's how I see it. <laughs> but yeah, let me give you guys a closer look at the books and what each shelf is. Here is a closer look at my books. Again, I have two shelves that are pretty empty. Um, and I'm probably going to add more like art stuff down here, just kind of like as like a junk shelf. Um, but yeah, let me start at the top. Here I have my romances. You can see some of the covers. But here are my two romance shelves. These are all my um, Emily Henry books. And then these are some hard covers. And then Love and Other Words, of course, right at the top. And I have this cute Beauty and the Beast rose on top of the stack and then here I have my classics as well as this shelf now I did want these books to be showing as well as my 1984 graphic novel copy and my complete works of Edgar Allan Poe um, like I said earlier it does kind of break the flow of just the pages showing but I still really want those showing um, so I'm okay with it I like all of the covers of those books. They're really nice. So it's it's a price I'm willing to pay for, you know, the consistency of it. Then the next shelf I have, these are like my mystery thrillers, um, my dark academia type books. And then on this side, I have my fantasy slash YA series here. So I have like my Caraval series. Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I have the first book of Once Upon a Broken Heart. I also have my Inheritance Game series here. And then here I have my Middle Grade. Of course, my Secret series. Probably one of my favorite book series. I have not finished reading it and I need to get back into it and finish reading it. I think I was in the middle of the third book. But I have those, my Diary of a Wimpy Kid series there. I have my Dr. Seuss books and a bunch of other like middle grade books. And then again, my two empty slash miscellaneous shelves but yeah that's my bookshelf for the most part it definitely could use work again i think the biggest thing is that there's a lot of space still in some of the shelves so the books are kind of like flopping over um but i i like it i think it looks pretty cool with the pages showing rather than the spines so yeah i think this will be the last book orga organization video that i will be filming for a while thank you again for watching um yes the third third installment of book reorganization um yeah i had fun this is very different than what i kind of imagined i was going to do um but i like it i like the the black and white I don't know how long I'm going to keep it like this just because sometimes I get antsy to just like change my bookshelf around. But again, thank you for watching. If you made it this far into the video, um, like I said, the next video I upload will probably be not the regular like book content that I usually do. It'll probably be more of an artsy video, a, wow, my brain's not functioning right now, a junk journal, a junk journal video. Um, so keep an eye out for that and consistency wise i'm just trying to get videos out i don't know the schedule that i'm going to do because i think once a week worked better when when i wasn't working and i had a lot more time but because i am working it can be a little bit tougher filming all the time or just editing because i come home and i'm like tired and i just want to you know chill and eat dinner and relax for the rest of the day but I will see you guys in the next video.